Okie dokie, now the tools you'll need is your all-in-one probe, a magnet torch which is supplied with the all-in-one or a magnet of some description, and an Android phone with the um, Centec probe configuration utility app installed. You get your magnet torch which has a magnet on the back side of this clip. You just scan it in this area on top of the uh, antenna connection or where the red plug would normally be. So you just got to scan it a few times, that activates the magnet which um, then turns the Bluetooth on. So now uh, when you're ready to make the connection after swiping, you launch the probe utility screen. Uh, it's got a start button which you need to press. Now if you've got Bluetooth activated like I did, it will just go straight in. If not, it will prompt you that you will need to turn the Bluetooth on and you just have to press yes to the message that prompts. Okay, now once you get to that point, you press the center Pro button and press connect. And um, if you're actually in a quiet place in the office, you'll actually see a, slot, a click of the relay which switches between the Bluetooth and the modem. Now on this screen here, you'll see some general information about the probe. Uh, the probe type, serial number, firmware version, logger ID, your sample time interval, your upload interval, and then your next sample time and your next upload time. As well as all the information about the probe, there are three buttons down the bottom. The first one is the sensor test, the second is the clock, and the third is the modem tab. So if you were to click on the sensor test, it will actually bring up uh, information about the sensors that are on the probe. So this uh, probe here has been configured with five moisture sensors at positions 10, 20, 30, 50, and 70. Now, by clicking the query all sensors, it will actually query the sensors on there. It will give you a, a raw count and a calibrated value for this probe. Now, once you're finished with this, you can press the stop querying sensors. Okay, the second tab is the clock tab. Um, this actually um, shows the information, uh, the actual clock time and date that's stored in the probe. So what you want to do with this is uh, just hit the synchronize with device time, which will then bring it into line with the Android phone. Also, it, uh, with the new app, version 1.2 and later, you can do a deferred upload. This allows you to test the modem. Um, and ensure that it connects to the internet um, before uh, leaving the site. So if you press the modem tab, it actually gives you two options. One's upload, which is to upload the data to the internet, and the test button, which does a test upload. So after pressing the test up, uh, button and waiting for a short while, you'll see deferred upload 190 seconds after disconnect. So basically that's telling you, you just hit the back button, uh, basically that's telling you to quit the app, that way the probe can disconnect from the Bluetooth, so now what we're doing is we need to wait two to three minutes for the probe to complete a successful upload um, and then reconnect using the magnet and the blue and the app. Yep. Okay, now, um, now that we've waited our three minutes, we can head back to the modem tab. So by pressing the modem tab, you'll actually see in the bottom uh, left-hand corner here, you'll see a uh, 040 success. These are the same codes that you see in pconfig. That's, that's pretty much it. <laughs>